The Prelude Roadster Guide Sheath is Merit's latest addition to the Prelude family of sheath introducers. The Prelude Roadster will include a dilator, sheath, and side port connection with hemostasis valve. The Roadster is designed to provide safe and efficacious access while maintaining support and kink resistance during the procedure. The Roadster is available in 4 French through 8 French and lengths of 45 cm, 65 cm, and 90 cm in shapes of straight, multipurpose, renal, and hockey stick to meet clinical needs. The Prelude Roadster Guide Sheath provides access to the patient's vasculature during diagnostic or interventional procedures. In addition, the device has a hemostasis valve minimizing the potential of patient blood loss. A few key features that should be noted when using the Prelude Roadster Guide Sheath. The transitions from dilator to sheath on the Roadster are smooth to simplify access and insertion. The flat coiling technology lends strength to the sheath, which helps increase resistance to kinking, allowing the sheath to maintain its integrity in tortuous anatomy. Additionally, Increased kink resistance helps facilitate insertion. The Roadster is hydrophilic coated at the distal 35 cm. This will help with easier insertion at access. The Prelude Roadster has a radiopaque tip as well as a marker band that is 5 mm proximal to the tip to help visualize the sheath during access. When selecting the appropriate size to use, keep in mind that the Roadster comes in 5 French, 6 French, 7 French, and eight French sizes and will offer the same outer and inner diameter as the leading competitor. The Roadster is also available in a four French. Flush all components with heparinized saline or suitable isotonic solution. After flushing the side port, turn the stopcock to the off position to maintain flush in the side port and prevent bleed back upon insertion into the vessel. Ensure that the hemostasis valve with sidearm is securely attached to the sheath prior to use. Next is hydration. It is important to keep the Roadster wet and hydrated. Do not use the Roadster in a dry state. Hydrating the outer surface of the sheath introducer activates the hydrophilic coating. There is hydrophilic coating on the distal 35 of the sheath. Do not wipe the outer surface of the sheath introducer with a dry gauze. If you are not using the sheath right away, you can leave it in saline or wrap with a wet gauze. Now let's discuss the insertion of the dilator into the sheath. Ensure the valve is secure to the sheath before inserting the dilator. The dilator must be securely snapped into place prior to insertion. When gaining access, insert the introducer and dilator assembly over the guide wire into the vessel using a rotating motion. Advance the introducer and dilator assembly through the tissue into the vessel. After the introducer and dilator assembly has been placed into the vessel and target destination has been reached, detach the dilator from the hemostasis valve by gently rocking the dilator hub from side to side. This will unsnap the dilator hub from the introducer valve. While holding the sheath, carefully remove the dilator leaving the sheath introducer in the vessel. The sheath should be removed at the end of the procedure. Prior to removal of the sheath, reinsert the dilator and secure the dilator to the sheath by snapping it back in place. Remove the sheath and dilator as a whole unit. Compression on the vessel above the puncture site should be started as the sheath is slowly removed. Non-occlusive compression or closure device should be used to achieve hemostasis once the sheath is removed. For additional product support, contact your local Merit representative or visit merit.com customer support.